what's good youtube welcome back to the channel and today i'm gonna be dropping the best six for taller guards i'm talking six seven six eight if you have around an 85 ball handle this is the perfect video for you because a lot of you taller guards be struggling to dribble but i promise if you're like a six eight with the 85 ball handle you could go crazy you can move like a guard low key but without further ado, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that Noti bell so you never miss a stream or a video. If you're one of the first people to type Noti gain in the comments, I'll be putting your name on the screen. As you can see, all these beautiful people are a part of the Noti squad. Shout out to my Noti squad. And today's like goal is 500 likes. If we can hit 500 likes, uh, then I'll drop another banner, you feel me? But without further ado, let's get straight into the six. Now a lot of us, now a lot of you ISO demi guys, this is around the same ball handle and speed with ball you're going to have. If you're 6'8", 6'7", you're going to have an 85 ball handle, 75 speed with ball. Like you could really move with the, on a 6'8", with the 85 ball handle. I'm telling you, you could move, like you could bop lockdowns, you could bop anybody, it does not matter. But now on to the 6. Now for the dribble style, you got three options. You got Kevin Durant, there's a lot of glitchy moves you can do with kevin durant you got magic johnson magic johnson is a speed booster and meta dribble style like if you want to be cheesy there's a lot of cheesy speed boosts with magic johnson magic johnson is by far the most overpowered dribble style and that's the one i use but if you want to combo up you want to be a standstill dribble god you know what i'm saying you want to be like steezo you want to combo like crazy zach levine is the fastest the best to combo with magic johnson is more of a meta dribble style if you want to win games and go and like if you want to be cheesy i would go with magic johnson or if you want to go with kevin durant kevin durant is like kind of meta kind of shifty kind of like kevin durant is all around pretty good magic johnson like we said is meta zach levine is for combo and so in the gameplay you see right now i'm using magic johnson and magic johnson works best for me so i'd suggest put on magic johnson but i have you know more than one option if you don't want to put on johnson now we're gonna move on to Sindra size up and every single year I use De'Aaron Fox. It's just the best Sindra size up in the game. The best to combo it, the best to get speed boosts out of, the best, like it's just so good for a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? It's very fast, very, very shifty. You gotta use De'Aaron Fox, but if you don't wanna use De'Aaron Fox, James Harden is also a very good one. James Harden, you need an 85 ball handle. De'Aaron Fox, you only need an 80. And I, personally, I like De'Aaron Fox better than James Harden. I use James Harden for a little bit, but I always like De'Aaron Fox better. Now for regular breakdown combos, I don't really use breakdown combos or the regular breakdown combos as much. So I don't have a lot of experience with this move. I don't use it that much, but as you can see, De'Aaron Fox is very good. If you look at the, my player right now, you get this little speed boost at the end of that breakdown. It's very cheesy, very overpowered. That helps me get open for a lot of fades. Now for aggressive breakdown combo, not only can this move get you wide open because it and you jump to the side you can get a lot of people crabs you can get wide open off this move but you can also do this glitchy move right here this move is crazy i mean it's like a complete travel you're basically cheating bro you're breaking the game this move is crazy if you want to learn how to do this move i will do a tutorial very soon if y'all want it if y'all don't want it i'll say it is what it is but this move you can only get this move with the aggressive breakdown combo john morant but overall, like, John Moran just has the best aggressive breakdown combo. It jumps to the side, so you do create a lot of space with this breakdown combo. So I'll put on John Moran. Next up, we have escape moves. Escape moves, I've been jumping from Jimmy Butler to Paul George to Jimmy Butler to Paul George. I do like Paul George, but in the gameplay, I'm using Jimmy Butler. And as of lately, I've been using Jimmy Butler, so I might just stick with that. I don't like changing my settings that much because, you know, once I'm like once I get my moves down, my center moves, I don't like to change too much unless I switch builds. So Paul George is a good one. You could try Paul George, but if you do not like Paul George, you should go with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler has the best misdirections. It's very fast. It makes dribbling on a 6-8 very fast. You're gonna feel like a guard. It has good misdirections. It's very glitchy. Jimmy Butler is just such a good escape move for taller guards, taller players next up we got james harden combo moves james harden combo moves is so broken the speed boost you get out of james harden combo moves is insane bro i get the craziest speed boost and i fade off this speed boost as you can see in the gameplay like the 
the speed boost I get out of this combo move is absolutely crazy. Definitely 100% put on James Harden. Or you could try De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox wasn't that bad. But James Harden only takes an 80 ball handle. Definitely put on James Harden. For crossovers, you have two options. John Wall or De'Aaron Fox. I'm using John Wall right now. But I did use De'Aaron Fox for a good amount of time. For like a week or two. But right now I'm using John Wall. I do like John Wall. So I don't think I'm going to change it. De'Aaron Fox and John Wall feel like basically identical like it feels like the same thing so you can't you really can't go wrong with darren fox or john wall it, it's really up to you on this one they're basically the same crossover the same speed they're both very fast so it's up to you on this one but personally i'm using john wall next up we got behind the back and jamal murray is the most explosive most glitchy behind the back in the game i'll be spamming this move if i go a game without using jamal murray behind the back I don't think it's ever happened bro i think i use this move every single game like it's just so broken it creates so much space on oh, murray like the standing behind the back is so glitchy so fast so i use jamal murray i would go with jamal murray if i were you as well now with this spin back being gone uh, on next gen i heard the spin back is still on current gen so if you're on current gen copying these things i'll put on the basic spin back so you get the spin back the glitchy one but they patched it on next gen the spin back is patched so base, I don't use spins anymore, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Ever since they patched the spin back, I just go with Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway is pretty quick, pretty shifty. But like, I don't really use this move as much because they patched the spin back, so. Now for the hesitation. There's a lot of good ones. A lot of people use John Morant because he hops to the side. Like, bro, like look at that. Look at my mob player. It creates a lot of space, but for me personally, sometimes I fly out of bounds or sometimes this John Moran hesitation gets me ripped a little too much. You know, it's, like, it's always getting me ripped, so I didn't like it. I used it for a little bit, but I just don't like the John Morant hesitation. So I'm using Scotty Pippen. As you can see, my player kind of hops backwards, and it's just an all around very good hezzy. I really do like the feeling of Scotty Pippen. Another good one is Chris Paul or John Wall. So between these four, it's really just preference. Do you want to create a lot of space, but risk getting ripped a little too? Like, John Moran does create the most space, but you do get ripped a lot. I'm not going to lie. It's just like, I don't know. I don't like jumping that far, bro. It creates too much space. I'll be getting ripped using John Moran. But Chris Paul, Scottie Pippen, and John Wall are all three very good hesitations. Right now, I'm experimenting with Scottie Pippen, and I haven't taken it off for a while. It's just very fast, very shifty. It's just a quick little hezzy. It's not doing too much. So for my hesitation, I got Scotty Pippen. Lastly, for the signature moves, I got Step Back John Wall. Not only does it have a glitchy move and step back that creates you a crazy amount of space, you know what I'm saying? You basically walk backwards. Like it's like a walk back this year. The John Wall move and step back is kind of crazy. Sometimes it flies you out of balance because you create too much space, but you know, I just like the John Wall step back. You know, I've kind of learned how to not go out of bounds with it because it's kind of OD. Not gonna lie. Not only does it have a good movement step back, but you also get the LeBron step back from 2K22, 2K23. We all know the LeBron step back. You get that step back and then John Wall step back. So good movement step back, good standing step back. All around, John Wall is the best step back in the game. Chris Paul is another good step back. I think you also get the LeBron step back in this one as well but i'm using john wall but that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy today's video it's kind of quick i just kind of want to give you guys the central moves and drill moves you know what i'm saying and let y'all go on about your day you know so i don't want to waste too much of your time but if you did end up liking the video drop a like if you're new to it just subscribe and with that being said hopefully these moves turn you into a dribble god and that's gonna do it for me today hope you guys have a blessed day and peace